girl is recovering in the hospital after getting hit by a car and the driver is still out there. This all happened in Gresham near the intersection of Stark and 202nd. Our Chris Holmstrom spoke to the couple who saved that girl's life. 16 year old Aleda Perez was walking in this crosswalk in Gresham when she was hit by a car and left for dead. Now keep in mind it was about 1045 at night so it was dark but thankfully there was one person who saw her. I'm really glad that we were capable and able to see her and stop and I don't know what possessed you to stop. Like I said, I saw nothing but rags in the street. Jason Haugen and Miranda Nicholson were on their way home from a wedding when Miranda noticed something on the side of the road. That something was Aleda Perez. She started rolling around a little bit and she was groaning a lot. Um, she couldn't make eye contact. <laughs> Jason immediately called 911. I put the rag on her head and she tried to get up and she made eye contact with me at that point and she said, please, sir, can I get up? I can't breathe. I said, I'm sorry, honey, you've been in a really bad injury and there's an ambulance on the way. You need to just breathe in and out. Aleda was rushed to OHSU where she immediately underwent surgery. She suffered from punctured lungs, a broken leg and pelvis and internal bleeding. We spoke to her mother the day after the hit and run. She is not never going to be the same ever. Her, she had nothing. Her eyebrows were gone. The whole thing you could see right through her head. A terrifying thought for any parent. And while Aleda is expected to recover, the person who did this is still out there. I really hope that whoever did do this, that this does get under their skin. And this does get inside of them. And they have the human decency to turn themselves in and to give this family the justice that they deserve because they did. They left this little girl for dead on the road. And if you know anything about this hit and run, Gresham police is asking that you give them a call. Reporting from Gresham, I'm Chris Holmstrom for Coin 6 News.